Hey everyone, it's Matt from Bellevue Bricks. Today we're going to go over a common question that we get from a lot of our customers. How can I use the part list that came with my mock? In this example, we're going to use Bricklink. It's the one that we recommend to everybody. If you don't know what it is, think of it like an eBay for Lego. So to get started, you want to go to the want button at the top. As you can see, you've got wanted list and upload. These are the two that really, when you're talking about wanted lists, these are the two that you're interested in. So click upload on here you see you've got two options upload a file from your computer and upload a brick link XML format you have two choices you can do you can keep it to a default wanted list but I strongly advise that you don't click create new wanted list give it a name I'm using a, a mimic mock that I designed recently as an example so you can give it any name you want though of course so you can see I've done that now. So now it's asking me for the XML file. In the order that you would have received from us, you would have found PDF file for the instructions and an XML file for the parts list. You may have also received an IO file, which can be used for the part list too, but we'll cover that in another video. In this example, open up the XML file and you want to open it up in a notepad. If you haven't opened up notepad before, it will ask you, it, or if it's trying to open it in a browser, you can right click it, open with, choose another app, and then choose Notepad. And in future ones, just make sure you tick that, and then it'll open up. If you don't open up in this way, it doesn't copy correctly, and when you paste it in, you'll get a load of errors. So as an example, again, so I'm going to do Control A, or you can do Edit, Select All, then right click, Copy, and I'm going to paste it in here. Once you've done that, click proceed to verify items. And you'll see it's pulled out all the lists in the XML file. It has all the codes and that links into the Bricklink database. Scroll right to the bottom and click add to wanted list. Now, if there was a problem with the XML file, you would have got an error. You won't get this far. If that does happen, do come back to us, contact our support, and we can have that fixed for you. So now that's done, click View, and you see here it says Mimic. That's the name of the wanted list that I gave. Of course, you're going to want to buy your bricks. So if you click Buy All, you can go through here, and you can choose your, your options. You've got store locations. I'm in the UK, so by default it's selecting that. And again, currency you can change. Have a look for your local countries first. It'll work out cheaper because of shipping. So in this example, do that and we click auto select. And here you can select stores when item price is lower than the store minimum buy. What that means is some stores have a minimum buy requirement. Normally if you're buying a mock, is absolutely fine because you're you're buying multiple items and it tries to generalize the items to as little amount of stores but it might mean that you have to buy an extra few bricks from a store if that if you don't quite meet their minimum buy but always run it first without it ticked so you can see here it's quickly found it so to build the mimic that I designed it's going to cost 22 pounds 81 it's made up of 319 pieces so if there are any pieces it can't get it would show you here that num the numbers wouldn't match and the percentage there would be whatever it would be and if you are missing any pieces it will show on the left hand side here where it says wanted list and wanted items you'll see down here and it will show little images of the bricks that you're missing I'll show in another video how you can use Bricklink to find the pieces if they're not available in your current search and that's where you might have to start looking further afield, looking into Europe or maybe looking into America. For me, as an example, living in the UK. So assuming you're happy with this, it's found all the pieces, you click create carts and it will add them to your cart. What you have to do is check out each store. So in this case, is there are two stores that make up all the pieces I need. So you would click checkout. It would take you to the store. And then it would tell you how much the shipping and handling will be and then the total value click proceed to checkout 
and then you work through, you know, make the payment and then you'll receive your bricks. I so say, I won't go any further than this. I don't actually want to buy them right now, but that's how you do that. There is another way that you can buy your bricks. So you've created the wanted list already. That's great. You go back to here. Sorry, I did that a bit quick. So you go back to want and then wanted list. And then you can notice there's this easy buy button. And what this does is it cuts out all of that part that I showed you. So if you're maybe not as confident with Bricklink, this is a good option to do. You'll go out and find the best stores to buy your pieces. So let's click easy buy and you'll see what I mean. So as you can see, it's finished searching and it's found the 319 parts I need. And it can get it from two stores, one from United Kingdom and one from Lithuania. The previous way we did it was just looking at United Kingdom, but it's not necessarily a problem. It's just something you have to bear in mind. There's shipping may be a bit more. If you create the cart and you'll see, let's go into view carts. So you can see it's split it out because it's not domestic being your local country. International is the Lithuania one. So we can have a look and say, here is 5.59 and 28.08 for me. Again, great British pounds. At this point, if you wanted to proceed, you can click view cart, proceed to checkout. And you can go through and agree, continue and make the payment. And that's it really. So there's two ways you can do it. Depending on how confident you are, either go for the longer method where you can start looking at it more manually, looking in your local country, looking in countries may be closer to you. If you haven't used Bricklink before, as soon as you've paid for it, you'll get an email notifying you that the order's been placed. It'll give you an order number. Your seller will communicate with you once it's shipped, and then they'll turn up like any other parcel to your door, and you can get on with building your mock. If you have any questions throughout the process, please do reach out to support at bellvbricks.com, and we're always happy to help. Bricklink is not one of the simplest of platforms to use, but once you do it once or twice, it becomes really simple. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you order your bricks. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps this channel grow. See you next time.